Welcome to another exciting episode of On Enter Flash. In this episode, we're going to go into the intro to Adobe Flash CS4. And these are the things that we're going to go over in this tutorial. Uh, we're going to go over the welcome screen, uh, the default settings, properties, layouts, and some of the tools. As you know, CS4 is a huge improvement over CS3. And maybe while you're watching this video, you'll decide if you want to actually make that investment. So I'm just going to throw this away. So the first thing you see is you see a welcome screen. If you don't see this, I'm going to show you how to get it right now. You go to your menu up here and you go to edit and inside of edit you go to preferences. Inside of preferences you see on launch and on launch mine is set to welcome screen. Um, maybe yours is set to no document or something else but if you want your welcome screen that's how you get to it after you're done you go to OK and there it is if you don't want the welcome screen anymore you just go to don't show tab right here and you select this and choose what you want to do uh, you see over here on the panels you see your properties your library and you see that it's a different setup you also see that below the uh, welcome screen there's your timeline and a new thing called motion editor uh, to best understand what's going on, let's go ahead and create a new Flash CS, a, a new Flash Action Script 3 document. We click on the document and we see this new layout where instead of the properties being where the property is, you see the timeline and you see the motion editor. And you over here you see your properties and you see your library. Um, these changes make it a lot easier for everybody to um, to work with. I have my frame set to 0 0.01 and usually it's actually set to 24 by default. And I'm going to show you how to change that because um, what happens when you go into Flash, they have a few new settings that maybe is not best for you. So when we click on the stage, we get the stage's properties. So inside of the properties panel, you go to edit and inside of edit, they give you the dimensions of your stage and you also have options here for the print, the content and the default setting. Um, by default, Flash keeps it as 24 frames per second, which is pretty fast. If you are uh, the type of animator, maybe you want 20 frames per second or maybe you just like 12 frames per second. You can easily change this and going to make default it will it will stay with those settings so every time you open up flash it'll be at 12 frames per second and at 550 pixels by 400 pixels and that's just how you do it so now from now on whatever you start up in flash it'll be 12 frames per second is that if that's what you're used to and as uh, maybe a website designer maybe you don't need um, such a high frame rate it's it's really up to you it's just to know that the option is there another change that you'll find is that the tools are over to the other side all the way to the right where you see all your tools here um, I'm not so sure as if this is a huge improvement but the whole idea I guess is put everything in one area you have your properties your library and all your tools in one section so in a way it is a good thing since you don't have to go back and forth left and right between the sides of the program um, one thing you'll notice up here is essentials and in essentials you can change the layouts inside of flash um, the flash is now set up for the specific duty that you're doing you can set up in, in classic mode let's go to classic mode in classic mode it looks pretty much like it did before and the previous versions of flash where you have your toolbar on one side your um, icons and color palettes and everything else on one side and well below you don't have the properties anymore but the properties putting it up here is a much needed improvement so from here we have the animator we have all sorts of things and let's go through them quickly um, right here the animator you see all these uh, windows come up you have your colors over here 
you have your alignment tool, transform information, you have your scenes, your motion preferences, which is a new thing. And you have your motion editor up here, which controls all aspects of tweens in any uh, motion preference you set. And you have your stage, and you have your stage right here in the middle. And this is what Adobe feels that this is the best setup if you are uh, an animator, if you're doing some animation. Let's go to another setting, uh, debug mode. Debug mode, you, you can see what's going on. You have your debug console, your variables, your output. So if you're trying to fix something in Flash, they feel as though this is the best for you. And most of the time, I believe that they're right on point. Um, as a designer, they have your tool set up. And you see that the tools, they, they uh, change from um, every type of layout that you have. Now the tools are now the tools are horizontal instead of just vertical so there's a lot of things that they, they thought of and helped out on um, let's look at the developer now this is useful for the people who are or when you're getting into the heavy parts of your coding where you won't have to worry too much about um, tools and whatnot you're just concentrating on creating that code and this is a really helpful layout and essentials which I believe is what Flash sees as the new um, classic layout. Um, the whole scheme of things is a, a real true improvement on things. I would really say that the biggest improvement is the way that they laid the properties and the library. It just flows. It really works together. Instead of going to a lot of other places, you find yourself in this one area doing all your work so it isn't about going all over the place it's about compact um, usability uh, let's go through some of the tools um, in flash we have some of the same old same old but we do have some new tools uh, the 3d rotation now items in flash can be flipped and rotated in in real three dimensions so this is a really cool thing that's in Flash. We have um, this uh, deco tool which allows us to do some really cool things. And I'm going to get into them when we start going into more aspects of Flash CS4 as this is a huge improvement and there are a lot of new things. We have the spray brush tool and if you're familiar with Illustrator then you'll know what that is. We have the bone tool which allows uh, you to give your items or movie clips or whatever it gives it allows them to give them a structure so you can give movement uh, or some sort of structure to your items and you can confine them to certain um, motions so uh, for instance a hand or a crane can only move but so far from its base so that is a helpful uh, helpful tool for animators. I would say a lot of the improvements in Flash CS4 have been for the animators and designers. Um, and there's also a lot of good things for the developers as um, Air has been fully integrated with Flash CS4. So this is a small preview of what's going on inside of Flash. And as you watch more of my tutorials, you'll learn a lot more about the Flash CS4 environment. I hope this was helpful and maybe this will help you in deciding whether Flash CS4 is an investment for you. Um, you can still do your action script too and there's still a lot of stuff you can do. There's a lot more stuff you can do in fact. So uh, look it over and if you want to still get a, a better in-depth view of Flash CS4, keep on watching my tutorials or visit my website on enterflash.blogspot.com. If you like my tutorials, make sure you rate and comment and do me a favor and subscribe to my videos. Thanks for watching on Enter Flash.